Hey guys, it's me, the Crafty Nerd 0525, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this bow, and you can, or you can possibly turn it into this bow pen. And this has a bobby pin on the back of it, but you can also thread it through. You can put some string around it if you want to make this into a necklace. You can put um, a clip on the back of it if you want to make it a cute little bow tie. So let's get started with the things you're going to need for this tutorial. The first thing you're going to need is a surface to cut on. Now you can, um, it doesn't really have to be because if you're going to be using scissors, you don't really need a surface so much, but it helps if you have a surface. You're going to need an X-Acto knife or some scissors, but I'm going to be using an X-Acto knife and scissors. Here are my scissors. If you're using just scissors, um, you can, you're going to want a ruler, but I'm not, since I'm not going to, I have my cutting mat, so I'm going to use this as my ruler. You're going to need um, some duct tape, and I'm using two colors, a solid and a pattern, and in this case I'm going to be using Cosmic Tie-Dye and Glow in the Dark. If you're making this into a, a hair bow, you're going to need at least, you're going to need one bobby pin. But if you're turning this into a bow pen, you will, you will not need the bobby pins, and instead you will grab a pen of any ink, color, or in any size. Let's get started with this tutorial. So now you're going to want to cut out two six inch strips of tape that are pattern color or whatever color you want to be the bow part. Um, and mine in this case is going to be cosmic tie dye. And you're going to flip one up and you're going to make a duct tape sheet just like I'm about to do. Now I'm going to end up having a lot of sticky. So you're going to cut off any and all sticky, especially if you're making a hair bow, because if you, this gets in your hair, it's really hard to get out and it's going to hurt a lot. So cut off all the sticky. There we go, that's better. So now you're going to want it cut <clears throat> a two inch strip of tape. And if you're making just regular old hair bow like this one, you're going to want to cut it in half like that. But if you're making it into a bow pen like this, you're going to want to cut that half in half and then in half again. So now you're going to take one of your sheets, um, your little fourths or halves, just like I did, and you're going to stick it partially on and partially off of it. And as you can see, it's okay that I have this extra stuff on the side so you don't even need to cut it because it won't really matter that much. You're going to fold this over and then you're going to open it up if you have the stuff on the sides and you're going to fold it in just like that because you don't want any sticky. Then you're going to put it so that the strip in the middle is in the middle. You want it to be like perfectly centered as much as you can. So I'm going to scooch mine over just a bit. And then you're going to fold it in half and then fold it back and then fold it back again. And then you're going to take one another of your strips, your last one if you're making a hair bow, but your other one of your other ones if you're making um, a bow pen. And you're going to take it and fold it over. Just like that. And if you're going to make this into a hair bow, you're going to grab your bobby pin. It doesn't matter what color because you won't be sitting it, seeing it. And then the side with like these edges where it's really noticeable, where on this side it's nice and curvy. You're going to take the side that has the rough edges and you're going to stick your bobby fin, pin through there. And there you go, you have a hair bow. If you want to make a bow pen though, you're going to set your bow off to the side. You're going to get your pen, that's not my pen, and you're going to cut a strip of tape that's whatever color you want your the base of your pen to be, or the color that's the clasp of your bow. You're going to measure it from one end of the pen to the cap. And now since every um, pen is different, it's going to be, again, different measurements. So I can an exact measurement, but you can just kind of try your best. So, I'm going to take off the cap on my pen now, and I have to flip this up. And you're going to put it, your pen so that the end is over there. You're going to stick it down just like that, and you're going to just keep on wrapping it around your pen until it looks like this. And you're going to put your cap on to double check and see. See how there's a little bit of room? That's probably what you want because you don't want to ruin your duct tape. So now you're going to put your bow right up to the side, um, to the end of your um, thing, and you're going to take one of those little last two sheets, and this part's going to be really hard to show on camera, I'm just warning you. So I'm going to move it down here, 
or I could probably show it a bit better. So I usually put it in between my legs, I know that sounds a little weird, and I stick it so that it's halfway on and halfway off, and I stick it down on the pen like that, and like that, so it looks like that, and then I take my other little sh sheet, and I go right up to the top, right there, and I wrap it around, so I have to move this usually, but, um, oh, I'm missing, oh, there we go, I got it, and then I wrap the other part of it around, sorry this is so shaky at this part, but it works. This is how I really have to do it because it doesn't work otherwise for me anyways. So yeah, there you go. Now you have a cute little bow pen or a hair bow. So I hope you guys like this tutorial and you will subscribe to me. Bye. Thanks for watching and keep on crafting.